To calculate an electricity bill, a standing charge, which is a charge that you pay even if you use no electricity, is added to the cost for units of electricity used. This total then has VAT added at 17.5%. If the bill comes to capital P pounds when the standing charge is S pounds and U units are used at P pence per unit, find a formula for P in terms of S, U and P. This is quite a complex formula to form, so we need to take things one step at a time and be very careful. The first thing is that the standing charge is added to the cost for units of electricity used. We have U units at P pence. If we do U times P, this will give us the cost for units used in pence. Just thinking about this, if it's P pence per unit, one unit would cost us P pence. Two units would cost twice P. Three units would cost three times P. So for U units, it's U times P. We need this to be in pounds since the formula is in pounds. If we divide U times P by 100, this will now be in pounds. Think about this, 100 pence is equal to 1 pound. So dividing the number of pence by 100 converts to pounds. Remember to this we need to add the standing charge. The standing charge is S pounds. So S plus U times P over 100 which can be written as UP over 100 is the charge without the VAT. We now need to add VAT as 17.5%. This represents 100%. We then add the 17.5% VAT, so the final bill paid represents 117.5%. As a decimal, this is 1.175. We need to multiply this by this. Encasing this in brackets ensures it's done first. We then multiply by 1.175. This is the final bill, capital P. Note we have two P's here. The capital P being the value of the final bill and the small p the pence per unit uppercase and lowercase letters represent different algebraic quantities but we need to be careful to make sure this P is larger and clearly different in the formula. Let's just examine the formula. The part in the bracket here is the standing charge added to the cost for units of electricity used. Now let's look at adding the VAT. The multiplying 1.175, the 1 gives us the cost here inside the bracket, and the 0.175 adds on the VAT. So that gives us the total cost of the bill.